I'm not gonna pretend that the gaming community isn't incredibly toxic. I'm not gonna pretend a lot of people don't say crazy stuff, right? Like the fact that they wanna like R word someone or that women should go back into the kitchen and make them a sandwich or that you look like this, you look like that, you're trash or you're autistic or you're a retard or this and that. I'm not trying to say that the gaming community isn't toxic because it 100% is. I've been around long enough within the online sphere, uh, even though I'm only 24 years old, to know that gaming has always been incredibly toxic. I grew up around the time where Call of Duty was known for being incredibly toxic. The phrase, you wouldn't last in a COD lobby only exists because back in the day during the time frame of Modern Warfare 2, the original, to Black Ops 2, I'm a real young nigga. Bruh. <laughs> You're not even mature yet. You always speak, nigga. You crying like a bitch. <laughs> Get a fucking kill, crap ass, nigga. Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? Your mama on drugs. Your dad no dumb ass. Weak ass. Are you on cocaine? Get Your me. daddy should have pulled out, fuck nigga. At least I don't smoke weed. <laughs> your mama gonna beat your ass, fool. You better stop yelling. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, this, yeah, set your bitch ass up before you beat your ass. What the fuck? <laughs> your mama finna beat the fuck out you. She on the way with the belt now, bitch ass. Boy. Mom your mom said she finna beat the white off your bitch ass. <laughs> Are you racist? You're racist. How is he racist? Dollar sign head ass, nigga. <laughs> you say that. You say too much. Drugs. You way at the You're bottom, fool. You way at the drugs. bottom. Drugs. You're at the bottom, fool. You're not shit. The reason why that phrase exists is because that era was incredibly filled with toxic lobbies of people trying to trash talk one another and saying the most vile, disgusting shit that you'll ever hear in your entire life. But that's what made it fun, that's what made it interesting. But times have changed, and it shouldn't be like that anymore. If you're gonna trash talk somebody, it should only really go as far as trash talking their skill at the game. But a lot of people don't really do that. A lot of people really like to go at people personally and unfortunately sometimes physically if it ends up going that far because a lot of the times in certain situations, sometimes stuff will go too far even further and swatting will happen where someone could potentially get physically hurt because of something that happened within a call of the lobby i'm not saying that something shouldn't be done but the way that this person went about trying to say their thoughts and opinions about the community being very toxic x uh j hannah i'm not sure that's how you actually pronounce their twitter handle she made a video very recently i saw it a couple of days ago because of grums if you don't know grums he has been about trying to talk about the dei and the gaming industry and and within games he's also been the head guy for trying to fight back against the censorship in video games. And he recently made a quote retweet talking about this video, and I'm not gonna say what he has to say, I'm gonna show a screen, so if you wanna read it, go ahead and read it for yourself. But I'm here to talk about the video for myself, and the way that she goes about talking about this is, she tries to really just place a whole lot of the sole blame of the toxicity within the gaming community, no matter whether or not it's Call of Duty specifically, or if it's Overwatch, or if it's Valorant. She talks about how all of the lobbies that she's in are incredibly toxic and that men are the main problem for that. And men are the sole cause for all of these lobbies and for all of the community for being as toxic as they are. She tries to place sole blame on us men specifically and I'm not really sure why she thought that this was the best decision for her to do. Because all this did was just cause people to reply to her tweet and now she just has more toxicity in her comments. I'm obviously not trying to say that that's correct because it's not. Some people are going way too far with their criticism towards her. But I'm not really sure what she was expecting when she tried to say that men are the problem in the gaming community. Obviously, I'm not going to ignore the fact that she also says not, not all men are like this. But she really doesn't come off like that in this video. She still comes off trying to place the soul blame on all men. No, it's over, Ina. It's over. Like, if if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. And then she all also say, oh, well, I have male friends who aren't like this. They're normal people. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Those guys are probably trying to fuck. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and just be completely honest. You're going to find either two different kinds of men in your lobby if they find out that you're a girl. Either one, they're going to say the most vile, disgusting shit to you possible to make you upset and get a reaction out of you 
just like someone clearly did to make you want to make this video on your TikTok, or they're gonna try to be the most whitiest of white knights that you've ever seen in your entire life, simp for you, and defend your honor until you finally decide that you want to go ahead and fuck them. Which you're never going to do, but they're still going ahead and keep trying anyways, because they have no other woman in their life. That's exactly what's probably happening. They're prob they probably have some interest in you in some sort of way. I've seen this type of thing happen so many times in my entire life. Being online, getting into lobbies with other girls or other women in the lobby and seeing a whole bunch of other dudes who are clearly in cells and very lonely trying to get with the woman and trying to you know get in bed with them or just trying to get very sexually suggestive pictures of them if you know what i mean this has happened a lot i'm not saying that this is right but what i'm also saying is that jenna or jay hannah have you pronounced her name i apologize for not knowing how to say it you should have phrased this much better you should have went about this in a way that didn't piss off so many people. And if you wanna make your environment much safer for you whenever you are in a lobby for Call of Duty or Overwatch or Valorant, if someone's being toxic to you, and this isn't toxic to say, this is not me being a part of the problem for saying this because you already had said this in your original video on TikTok. I'm not part of the problem for wanting to say that you should just block and mute them if someone is being toxic towards you. You have the tools. They're right there for you to use. The devs included that for you in the settings and within the game itself so that you didn't have to face this problem. If you don't want to use them and you want to ignore using that in general, that is entirely your fault. You, by not using those tools that the devs are giving you, are completely asking for this. And trying to place blame on someone else entirely is not the way to go about this. If you want to battle toxicity within the gaming community, Placing blame on one gender, trying to fight sexism with more sexism, is not the way to go about this. If you want to actually talk about the problems with the gaming community, go ahead and do it. I'll fully support you in that, because there are a lot of issues that are currently going on. But the way that you're going about it is not the way to do it. If you want to do this in a smarter way, you should have done so. Because this was just not it. This was a terrible video, a terrible take to have. And I'm honestly very surprised you still have this video up. I honestly would have thought you would have taken out a tweet, you would have taken out the TikTok. But in all fairness to you, you're completely adamant with your words. And I respect you enough to say that I respect the fact that you're so vehement in your words and that you believe them wholeheartedly. Do I agree with them? Not at all. But I respect the fact that you agree with what you had to say in general. Still think you're wrong though. Anyways, that's all I really had to say for the video. Just I saw this a few days ago, wanted to talk about it really quick, thought the video would be interesting enough to talk about. I didn't want this video to be too long, but it's already about maybe like eight minutes or so. So hopefully you don't mind. There are some personal things going on in my life right now. Nothing too severe so far, but if something severe happens, I'll keep you posted and I'll make an update video saying what happened and explaining whether or not videos are going to end up slowing down or not. Hopefully that doesn't end up happening and hopefully things turn up okay. But if something happens, I'll let you know. I'll make a video about it and I'll keep you updated. But that's besides the point. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.